Hello? I'm the Red Monk, and here in America, we like to start young. And by starting young, I mean not even being three months out of high school, you can be horribly in debt, right? The American dream is to be grossly overweight and horribly in debt. And I think, you know, going to college, going to university is, you know, supposed to be a smart decision to, like, you know, not party and work hard. And you'll still be in the red until you're, like, 35. And it is just so fucking expensive to live, right? Like, I'm going to school. You know, I'm, like, studying. I'm trying my fucking hardest. I'm putting down a job as well. And I'm still fucking in the red, right? And it is so expensive to fucking live, right? Our entire system is made to be as expensive as possible, right? As expensive as possible for you to still buy it to get the least in return, right? Because it's all, our entire culture is based off of a number, right? And you can best see that three months out of high school when you're going to be horribly in debt. And you can't, like, you can't even pay for school unless you're like by yourself, of course, without taking out a loan, working like a most of your high school career and saving up a lot of that money, you can't fucking get through school. And that's like the, the smart decision, you know, to like work hard, study and go to school. And you're still going to be horribly in debt and unless you like really start saving young. There, there's absolutely like no fucking way you can like get car insurance, pay rent, you know, pay for that $2,000 bill twice a year. You know, all those fucking expenses and, you know, if it wasn't for my, like, parents, I would not be able to pay for school. Like, I was really, really shitty about saving up in high school. Like, I worked in high school, but I didn't, like, I save for shit. I got whatever I wanted. And now, I'm, like, really starting to have to save now. And it's just too fucking difficult. I This is my parents' room, right? I don't even live by myself. I mean, I think it would be so fun, right? Because, like, you know, I'm in my youthful years. You know, I have, uh... I'm not like old yet with back pains and shit. I want to go out there and have fun, but it's like too fucking expensive. And my uh, dad, he went to school for something different than where he actually works. I mean, the degree helps him get jobs, but he works in the computer field and he was self-taught. And like nowadays, you know, because you know everything's fucking expensive, it is incredibly foolish for your, you know going to school when you're young to go for anything else except for a job that will, you know, get you money, right? Because our entire culture is based off of a name equated to a person, right? It's just this fluctuating number that we tie to a person. You know, that number is money. That's the sole definer of everything. And if you don't have money, you know, you have no fucking momentum. And it is fucking stupid. But, you know, you can't, you can't change it. And it is, uh, if you're going to go to school, you gotta, it's very important. Like, when you're older, you can go to school for enrichment when you actually, you know, have more than, you know, $12 an hour for fucking working. But, like, going to school for, like, art school is, it's just sadly, I mean, it sounds fun, you know? Like, school should be for enrichment. You know, it should be for you to, you know, further your mind not you know get a certified career if you're going to be in debt until you're 35 it's really important to go for a career that will help you actually live you don't get a job that you absolutely fucking hate but there's you know a lot of jobs out there that you still you should enjoy your job and you can always you know work on art later in your life but going to art school like fresh out of high school it's just the system is too fucking stupid it's too fucking bent on a freaking number equated to a person that if you don't have fucking money, it's just so fucking hard on you. And if you're thinking about going to a school, you know, do something you like because if you don't like what you're doing with yourself for 40 hours a week, that would be very, very sad. You know, go for something that, you know, at least interests you. And there's a lot of stuff out there that can be interesting, but you always have to get, uh, a certified career, right? Get a career that you have a piece of paper that has your name on it that was given to you by the government because that creates a restriction. Like, um, you know, doctors, 
uh, accountants, uh, lawyers, and a lot of people like that get, uh, once they finish their school, they get a piece of paper and it says their name on it. They're like certified accountant. And that creates a restriction and certified careers are a lot more likely, you know, to pay better. You know, like I said earlier, my uh, dad, he went into a field that was different than his degree, right? So he doesn't have a, a degree in, you know, computer science or whatever. And a huge issue he talks about is how they will just, the companies will just hire people, you know, from India where that they don't have to pay them nearly as well or like give them any fucking health care. And because, you know, it's entirely based off of a number. Right. So since the number can become slightly bigger by not paying your workers and hiring people from India, that's what most companies do. Right. Which is, you know, it's stupid, but you know, we can't change that. So if you get a career that is certified, you will not have to worry about people. You know, it's not the people in India's fault. They need fucking food. Like I get the fucking telecom scammers and I'm like, yeah, you know, it sucks that it's fucking annoying and they're trying to scam money out of me. But it's really, like, they'll starve otherwise. You know, they need fucking, they need food. So I can't hold it against the, the poor uh, Indian telescammers. But the you know, the companies that, you know, lay off 40,000 people to uh, buy it in fucking India where they don't have to fucking pay their workers nearly as well, uh only happens to people who do not have a certified career but if you have a like a certified career like you know a doctor like you have to be the government gives you a piece of paper that says you know doctor and then your name on it you know, that will actually that'll create a restriction so they can't you know have you lose your job so they can do it cheaper on the other side of the world and that being said like going to art school it's just, it sounds so fucking nice. You're so, it sounds like everything will work out in the end, which is a fucking shame because it doesn't. Like, uh, today at school, uh, they changed around some of the, because I'm going for a certified career, and they changed around some of the regulations with the government, and the one kid misunderstood it. The one kid I was talking to, yeah, I mean, he's also my coworker, but he screwed it up, so he got on his phone, and he called the dean seven times. And he realized that that wasn't even, like, he misunderstood how they were changing around the regulations. Like, it was so full of, like, conviction and, like, to the freaking core, but un-understanding of the actual situation. That's what art school is like. You know, I, if they are, like, you gotta care about it to go, but it's just, sadly, the system is too fucked up for it to work. And going to school for graphic design is also not a really, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because it's the same thing as art school. You know, it's just not going to work out too well. But, and, you know, if you're, this is the thing I'm talking about. If you're interested in art, this is like the best time to fucking do it. Especially with like the internet coming up nowadays, because you can, you know, Get a career that you like, that you're, you know, happy working, something that interests you, and you'll be surprised how much shit can interest you, you know? How, like, interesting the whole rabbit hole is of your degree. But, you know, get a career that pays well, and then with that money, you can finance yourself to make your own work in your free time, right? Because decentralized entertainment is the future. That is the absolute truth. With the internet, we're having a lot more, you know, smaller independent creators creating for a more niche audience just a lot more specialized and you know with there's a huge you know oversaturation of like you know music being made or you know entertainment being made you know for the consumers so you know if you like go to art school there's a chance that your you know your dream might not you know it's might not stick out in the oversaturation but it do its best to get a career that pays well, that you know you can like feed a family with. But you know, also in your free time, you know, during the weekends and at nights, you can you know play in a band or 
paint paintings or whatever makes you happier. Not only that, if you get a career that pays well, you can always you know, be self-taught, do your you know, art independently in the free time. And then in the, the future, when you like are in a better financial state, because like when you're fresh out of high school, like I don't even know how they expect anyone to fucking pay for school by themselves, right? I mean, you really got to take out so many fucking loans with Sally Mae. But, you know, once you, like, start working in your field, and you can be, like, four-year degree, you're 22 when you finish, start the, your art school when you're, like, 26. You know, you'll be in a better financial state, and you'll get the better pay that you get from your job that still should interest you. But you can still also, you know, work on a art degree just later in life if you want to go. But, like, go when you're 18. You know, the world is too... Like, going to school for enrichment is, like, the fucking American dream. It's fucking dead. You know, it's, it's all about the number attached to your name. And it's just fucking stupid. So, yeah, if you go to art school, you should just do it later in life or do it not at all. 